this week on Scam School, you get the power of X-ray vision. See what you're doing. See through all. This episode of Scam School brought to you by Domain.com. Welcome to the only show not afraid to lie right to your face. This isn't Scam School, the only show dedicated to social engineering at the bar and on the streets. Hello, beautiful people. I'm Brian Brushwood, and this week we are back with special guest Rich Ferguson, who's going to blow our minds by giving us an honest-to-goodness real-life superpower. Except it's a lie. Just like everything, we're liars. Uh, all right, beautiful people. Toast, 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 toast. Woo! All right, this is like the weirdest episode of Scam School because we have Brian Curley from Drunk Kids Gaming on Twitch, right? It's yes. Twitch.tv slash Drunk Kids Gaming. That is me. We've got John Tilton, who normally helps me prep all the episodes for Scam School. So he's going to be I usually know all one. the tricks. Yeah, know exactly. This trick. You can't fool this guy. But because Rich Ferguson is in town doing a big show, he's going to try to fool all of us. We're going to do a little mind reading. Classic idea. We have an envelope. It's a security envelope. You've all had a, maybe a report card come in the mail and you're kind of seeing what's it. You can't see it. you got to like have a special lens to look through this thing. Well, there's these little cross hatches in there that basically breaks up the ability to see anything that's printed. Even if you hold it up to a bright light, you can't. You can see there's something in there. You just can't see anything printed on it. So I thought it would be really cool to use a security envelope as a way to hide a prediction. You're gonna write something on here. Do it nice and secret, so I can't see it. I'd prefer if he didn't even see it. Okay. So write something on here, nice and big and clear, so we can see it at the end. Then you're gonna stick it in here, face down, and close the envelope up. Let's make it something super secret and intimate that there's no way any of us could possibly know. I wanna go back to elementary school. Do you remember the name of, of your best friend from elementary school? Yeah, there might all be right, some right. hurt feelings oh. from friends <laughs> if, they, if they see this. Like, all right, let's go with yeah. that, because there's no way we could know, because apparently there's a few contenders I have to look as well. Away too, as well. All right, nobody look. And uh, put this in face down. Otherwise, no we, might, we might see it. Sealed. There's right. no way Fantastic. you're getting that. Now we gotta find out which childhood friend you hurt by not putting them in the <laughs> list. You can see the front, try to look through it. Can't see anything, correct? Yeah, you really can. Okay, flip it over. Can't see anything, correct? Yeah. You can't see anything in there, right? Nope. Look, both yep, sides, yep. right? Totally fair, totally This is fair. very important. I'll put this right between us. Put your hand out like this, front, like just this. like this. Yeah, perfect, watch. Think about your childhood friend. Yeah, yeah. What age was this? Uh, uh, this is like third grade. Yeah, yeah. Like, think about if it was a boy or a girl. And think about if the name is, sometimes there's unisex names, like, uh, I don't know, what's that, Carrie? I mean, I know a guy named Carrie. It's like, it's, yeah, so yeah. this is a name of a boy or a girl, but is it a name that's strictly a boy or a girl's name? I've never heard it as a girl's name. Let's assume this is a boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Deduction. <laughs> now I know the name. <laughs> it's Kyle. Yeah, that's it. What? You got it. <laughs> Sometimes right. it's a little direct. Yeah, yeah. Is that actually it? Man, now I'm sad I gave you that it was a guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now, real quick, before we jump, uh, like, like, do you have any idea how this is done? Uh, no, because I, I thought there would be some weird thing about looking through it. Yeah, but no, you, you clearly, showed me both you sides. You clearly cannot see and through I can. this. Yeah, you yeah. can hold up the light. There's no way to see through it. That's yeah. what's so beautiful about it. All right, it. so do you want the answer? Of, of you course. Can, you know you got a toast me. Right. Brant Hughes, editor. Exposed to inappropriate levels of domain names. <laughs> Good deals on domain names makes him the world's smartest man. I know everything. 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 Yeah. Every so often you run across a mentalism mind reading principle that is so simple and so direct, it shatters expectations. And what I love about this is that this is an envelope specifically designed to conceal secure documents, you know, your checks or whatever, and, and you see it from both sides and yet it still works. Do you just want to show them the answer before we yeah, explain yeah. it? Yeah, this is great. Okay, if I touch the center, your word appears. There it is, Kyle. If I let go, it disappears. Oh, wow. yeah. <laughs> it's, a it's a spring loaded peaking mechanism. This system is faulty. So never buy these envelopes. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not the envelope. It's not the envelope. No. That's the secret. Well, there's two things at play here. One, I've bowed the paper you write on. And this is index this card is, stock. Yeah, right? so it's a nice heavy stock. So this is a big part of the secret because this is not laying flat inside the envelope. Yeah. The image is never against the outside right. until I press and it flattens it out and then right. reveals itself. The other thing you asked earlier is, well, it's a security envelope. You're not supposed to be able to see through it. Well, you can't when it's printed like a typewriter or yeah. printed with like a pen. The line weight is a big, big thing. Look at the line weight of the, ha the hatches in there, right? Yeah. It's the typical line weight that you would see with a typical pen, a pencil, or typewriter, right? You wrote with a fat marker. 
So right. the difference between that and the hash marks is enough of a difference that I'm able to peek. If you wrote it with even a fatter marker, it would be, I just touch it, and you would see very bold letters across here. Yeah. So it's because the difference between the skinny and the fat, that's why you can see through it. So what's uh, amazing is that you could use this to instant stooge someone, because like I wasn't, I had no idea what you wrote, but when he turns around and showed it, there's this moment where he says, look, you can see that you can't see it, and he bends it, uh, and I was able so to clearly read uh, the word Kyle. Uh, so if he wanted to, if you're at a table, you know, you show both awesome. sides, and then you can take a random person and then just say, like, see, you can't see through it, right? And then they're gonna clearly see it. You're like, well, do you have an impression? And they're like, yeah, I think it's Kyle. And then all of a sudden you've involved somebody yeah, else yeah. that's not even there. So is it is it enough where if you even gave it to me, would you be nervous that I might see it by accident, or is it? This is yours right here. It's got yeah, Kyle yeah. inside of it, right? Yeah. Without knowing that I can bend it. Well, there you can see a little bit. The Envelope well, and, yeah, along yeah, this, with you, this with that's, is, yeah. But that's because I'm, yeah, yeah I'm looking at the right, this side, you wouldn't be able to, yeah, that side you can't at all. But you're right, though, in that you can't keep using the same the envelope over well, and over again. Do it you one want, time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And one also, time, this is pretty flimsy stuff. You really want a good cardstock. This is what I can grab in short notice. The thicker it is, the better, because when it has a nice bend to it, it it's really is a, it a spring-loaded yeah. mechanism at that point. All so right. a nice heavy cardstock, boom. I want to see these guys perform mind reading on us. You ready to do this? Let's do it. Yeah. All right, all right. What's the preparation? What's the only thing you have to do beforehand? Bend the card. Yes. That's right. Get it. Bend, bend it hard. Bend it. Don't, don't crease it. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Take it away, gentlemen. All right, uh, Mr. Brushwood. Yes. You Brian fooled me Curry. many times on the internet, but right now I'm going to read your mind. Write down something secret. Something You've never secret? Told anyone. Oh yeah, I'm looking away. Yeah, <laughs> we're, we're like intently looking. There we go. Put it in the envelope and don't let me see it. I'm not letting your confederate see it either. Oh. Keep looking back, I'm the worst magician no, ever. All right, Brian Curley, there's no way you know what I've written down. There's no way to see through this. No, that, that, okay, wrong side. <laughs> <laughs> not that, obvious at all. <laughs> there's no way to see through this I can't see anything on that side. Envelope. I can't see anything on that side. But I can clearly tell that you love boobs. What? <laughs> How did you know? Oh my god, it is true that I love boobs. Couple pro tips you said you had. Remember which side it's on. <laughs> I always I always have them put it face down. I make a point. Put it in face down. Remember Therefore where it is. I know it's on the main envelope yeah. side, not the side with the glue. Because that might get in my way as well. Look, you can't see through and I bend it. Now I know which side I can to even look see at. it from here when you do it. That's right here. Great. Well, you just have to make sure you yeah. push paper to paper. Boom, you got it. It's a nice flash. You can't see through this side. See, and this is great. This is perfect. You this can't see through this side. Like, no, right? No, 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 I, I, yeah. I, I can't. You're not so looking at my eyes staring at it. He's focusing on it. Don't take your own time and go, you can't see through it, right? <laughs> Although, keep in mind, if you have a two person thing, then it's like they can stare all they want. And you just do this and you're busy talking, giving eye contact, because it's very difficult for someone to break eye contact while you're holding it up. And then meanwhile, they're getting the. the I, like, I like your spin on it. Let's hear <laughs> of course, first and foremost, gotta give a huge thanks to Rich Ferguson for slumming with us. Check out his best magic pranks over at youtube.com slash UC magic, letter U, letter C. And of course, if you wanna suggest your favorite bar scam, write me directly at brianashwood.com. Post comments down below. I try to answer every single one of those on new episodes. And of course, don't forget to join us next week because, I don't know, felt like we had something here. Kind of a connection, you know? I don't. I don't normally do this, but I kind of, you want to go out sometime? I just feel like, you know, you and me get together. Every so often, some loud ass tailpipes go rocking through and mess up your shots. I'll find out if I'm getting a raise. Right. Here, hold up, back it up, there we go. Let me say that again, because that makes no sense. Okay, and you're not in cahoots. Uh, no, well, I'm not gonna write, Actually, hold on, you know what, actually, no, you're just gonna write some gibberish that I won't know how to pronounce. Uh, forget I said that, cut all that out. <laughs> I want to go back to elementary school. What? <laughs> <laughs>